friends, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I'm just gonna try to make a card. I've been having one of those creative days. You ever have those days where you're like, you just try <laughs> to create so many different things and and everything you do, you think, oh, well, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna try something else. Well, that's even worse. I'm gonna try something else. Well, gosh, that's even uglier than before. That's the kind of day I was having. Like everything I tried to make just was hideous. I mean, not even just not attractive. I mean, like, like hideous. It was awful. I could not create anything of value to save my life today until finally I did. I came up with some jewelry and I'm like, all right, well, you know, this video is all right too. I'm going to edit it. So it's a little bit quicker and, uh, and I'm going to, you know, upload it. And, um, I don't know what happened, but YouTube was not my friend. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't take the video. And I was like, ah, why did I t attempt this today? Oh, I think it's because my kids were in camp and I knew I had a day to create. And I didn't want to waste it and I was pushing too hard. But um, so, yeah, we all have days like that. I just want to share that in case anybody else is having a, a rough, <laughs> a rough day today, creatively, creatively or otherwise. Um, so I was at Target the other night. My husband and I went out. Oh, we're, we're awfully exciting folks here. We went out for our anniversary. We went and saw the uh, Planet of the Apes movie. And I uh, went out to dinner and we uh, we decided it was pretty early when we were done the, at the movie theater. And uh, we decided we would go to Target or Target. If you're not being fancy, it's just Target. Um, and just pick up a few things. It was very exciting. Bug spray and sunscreen. <laughs> and while I was there, I was looking at the dollar spot and they had these foam bath blocks in stock. And I showed you a technique with this about two years ago and we could not find these anywhere. Everyone was like, where'd you get those? And I said Target and then they didn't have them for like ever and now they have them again so foam bath blocks people just go and buy them and trust me all right they're a buck and so what you want to do is you want to take one of these fantastic foam bath blocks and uh and heat it up with your heat gun you might be able to press it against the light bulb you want it it's just gonna like slightly change texture and get a little darker or something it's not it's very subtle so once you get that nice and hot, you can press it on any sort of texture. It could be a pile of buttons on the table. I have another video on how, on just doing this. In fact, I'll put a link below under the video or maybe on the screen somewhere. Um, so you can check that out. But basically you can make your own stamps. Now see, it's got that texture from the embossing folder and it makes a really nifty little stamp. And I will uh, use a little ink here. Typically don't stamp with just stress ink, but um, I was kind of throwing some, I, that's another thing, I was in kind of a rut today, so I'm throwing in some colors I don't typically use together to kind of, um, just kind of help me break out of that rut, but look at that, isn't that cool? And since these are shaped, I could press a little bit harder and get a little more ink on there. And I can make like kind of a cool background like this. And um, foam bath blocks, that's all it is. It's a dollar and you get all those different shapes. And I think it's kind of just a fun little technique. I don't notice any fumes coming off the foam when I do that. But you know, good idea to crack a window, especially if you've got kids at home. So I wanted kind of a modern Asian look and I decided I would, I would achieve that with that. And uh... These colors are kind of hideous together, but then sometimes you take those unexpected colors and they work. So that's, uh, and they're more masculine, more of a masculine palette. I tend to go more feminine. So sometimes you just got to shake things up. All right. So, uh, okay. So, oh boy, I should show you this. This is really hideous. So I got my deli paper up my jelly plate because this was like, you know, phase two of, okay, this isn't working. Let's try that. That didn't work either. But, um, so as I was working with the jelly paper, I had grabbed some drywall mesh and I decided to just kind of press that over there to make some textures. And I ended up with this quite hideous piece of brown, green, metallic-y rust uh, drywall mesh. But I thought, you know, it's kind of cool texture. I think I might be able to, to use that on here. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna make kind of like a little one layer thing, I think. Gosh, I kind of don't really wanna cover up. You know what, I'm just gonna tear that. I don't really wanna cover up a lot, like all of that background so I'm just kind of use that kind of as a bridge um and I'm really kicking myself that I didn't get that other roll of this stuff I saw at the yard sale the other day so just so you know I'm still kicking myself over that I almost knocked on their door and said hey you guys still got that like okay security <laughs> call the police there's a crazy woman looking for drywall mesh oh and uh, so I was and I took another one of my hideous jelly prints and I decided I would make some faux washi tape and that's what I was using here. I was using this long stamp from Oriental Trading to uh, kind of kiss off the uh, About Art Accents um, stamp there. Yeah, I like that. So, since this isn't really washi tape, it's just deli paper, I'm going to use a glue stick. And um, I'm just keeping my table clean with this other... I don't even know what I was thinking with this print. This was just... Oh, 
lazy print. It didn't have the little texture of the uh, the drywall mesh on there. That was prob that was my uh, ill-fated attempt there at something creative. We all have those days, though, guys. You know, it's nobody's immune. Not even the frugal crafter. <laughs> Boy, especially not me. All right. And let's see, I made quite a few of these little strips here. I don't know, that might not have not have enough color for me. Maybe just one. And so I wanted to kind of do this one layer-ish card. I don't know if you can consider it one layer once I start gluing things down, but um, yeah, I'm going for there. Um, well, maybe, you know what? Why don't I show you how I did make that tape? Let me grab, let me grab this one. It's got a little bit more interest to it. And I've got some, it's kind of shimmery. It's got some leopard print and some zebra stripes and some giraffe print, and it's just all big hot mess. And um, we will, I'll show you how I did this. This is just like, you know, you come up with those backgrounds sometimes, and the great thing about deli paper is it's so cheap, you don't have to worry about making a total mess of it. Um, which I clearly did here, and so then to make my little strips of tape, I just roll it up and I cut some strips off, and you can do varying lengths or whatnot, varying widths, I mean, it's going to be 12 inches long no matter what, but I want something that's kind of goldy red there, so what I'm going to do is take this and then stamp a design on there. I'm going to use stays on because I'm going on top of acrylic paint, so it's kind of like stamping on plastic, and um, and plastic doesn't really hold regular ink very well. It wants to beat up, so I know that this is not going to, you know, come off on somebody's hands. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Here, have a handmade card. <laughs> you get to enjoy the ink smudges for the rest of your life. No, that wouldn't be very nice. And uh, so we'll just stays on that there. All right, not too bad. I could even go over that with uh, some Distress Ink, and it might stick to the bits of the paper that um, that did not have paint on it, but I don't think I really need to do that. I think it's it's all right. So, yeah, I kind of like that. I'm just going to tear off a little piece like that, and then my glue stick. Glue sticks are on sale right now everywhere because it's back to school time. So if you go to, like, Target, like I was, you know, my big Saturday night on the town, um, you can go to, you know, Target or Walmart or wherever, any of those big department stores that sell back to school stuff, and they have, you know, glue sticks too for, like, 34 cents. And um, it's a great time to stock up. I do every year at this time. So now I'm thinking maybe just, like, a couple buttons or maybe, like, a little charm or something. I'm going to go see what I can dig up. We'll be back in a second. All right, so look what I found. I found this uh, these game pieces from an old Axis and Allies game, and I think that little Japanese sun kind of little chip would be marvelous right here or here or something. I'm just going to kind of play with a little bit. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to hot glue her down and call this done. So that is a very simple one layer card. I really, really just wanted to do a video to, uh, to share the bath block, um, the bath block find because... Target has them. They usually don't keep stuff in the dollar spot more than like a month or two. And if you want to get them, it's a great opportunity. These You can just reheat them and press them again to reuse the stamps over and over again. So you don't have to be stuck with one pattern. Just heat it up, repress it, and you're good to go. And you can use the sides. You can use all these different shapes. Or you can just get a package with only squares in it because they had those two. But um, hey, it's great, uh, great, fun, creative thing to do that's very affordable. And... Um, Hey, when you're done with them, wash them off, give them to a kid to play with. I don't see why that wouldn't, why you couldn't do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this lovely card. I'll put a link below the video to that um, jellyfish stamp from artandeco.com. And thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.